I just found out that my wife cheated on me back in 2008 when we were dating. First things first, I 39M have no plans to divorce my wife 41F. I'm not so much seeking advice as I am just trying to vent because this hurts like a MF and I'm not sure to whom else I can turn to in order to get this off my chest. An old friend of my wife, whom we have not seen in years, reached out to me last night and emailed me screen caps of some email exchanges they had at the time that detailed a fling my wife had with a other man back while we were still dating long distance. She said she wanted to clear her conscience after all this time, but I was still skeptical at first. It took place in the two months leading up to me moving in with her. She definitely had sex with the guy at least once and they went on several dates. I logged into her email at about 2 a.m. this morning and verified that these emails were real and I found some more emails she sent to another friend with more of her details and feelings. We've both grown a lot since then, our marriage has been truly great, but reading some of the shit she said back then just gutted me. She said she knew what she was doing was wrong, though she didn't necessarily feel guilt. She said that she loved the way I made her feel when we were together, but she got really lonely when I left and that she had made up her mind to basically live like she was single for the three weeks each month that I wasn't there. Hell, she even kicked around the idea of breaking up with me to pursue a relationship with the other guy. Like I said, we currently have a great marriage and I have zero intention of pursing a divorce, I'm not even sure I'm going to confront her about it because it was so long ago. That said, this has really punched me in the gut and I'm not sure I've ever felt this kind of hurt. Thanks for listening to me and letting me vent. Update. I got back home on Sunday after a weekend work meeting that was out of state. I asked her if we could talk, and I told her that I knew she had cheated on me. She held back tears as she confessed that she had, indeed, carried on a brief relationship with another man while we were dating, shortly before I had moved states and we had moved in together. I asked her if there were any other times, and she said no. I have faith in her when says this, because I gave no time frame and she corroborated what I had found. I then asked why she kept it from me for so long, and she said she knew how adamant I was that I would never forgive a cheater, I had also been cheated on in college by a long-time girlfriend, and she knew it would destroy both me and our relationship. She then asked for my forgiveness, if I could ever forgive her, and I told her that I already had. She cried even more when I told her that I the last thing I want is a divorce, because I still love her more than anything in the world and I'm not willing to throw everything we have away for something that happened 16 years ago. I said that while I love her, I am still very hurt because all of this is new for me and my trust in her is a little shaken for having kept this from me for so long. She understood, she offered to let me go through her DMs, her email, and her texts to prove nothing else had gone on. I declined, because I have known all of her passwords and how to unlock her phone and she has never jealously guarded her devices. We can also track one another's devices and she has never been somewhere she shouldn't be when I have checked. Finally, I asked why. She said she didn't have a clear answer why and she still wasn't totally sure, but she was going through a very self-destructive time in her life, this was already known to me, and, when this guy came pursuing her hard, it is one more terrible decision in a string of terrible life decisions she had made over the previous year. We embraced and cried, she apologized again, and I told her how much she meant to me. I told her it would take time for me to process all of this and that I would be going through counseling, and that I want us to attend marriage counseling for at least a little while, but that I was still madly in love with her. Then she asked me how I found out, and I told her about how her old friend had reached out to me and dropped the news, which caused me to check her emails and corroborate this information. Apparently they had a pretty serious falling out a while back after my wife had loaned the friend a good amount of money after the friend's husband had took everything and left her high and dry, this money came from her discretionary account, not our shared account. Yes, we both have discretionary accounts. No, I do not worry about what she does with her own money. Yes, I knew about the loan. Instead of using the money to get back on her feet, her friend had used it for really expensive, unneeded stuff and a vacation with some other girlfriends. Needless to say my wife was pissed, she asked for her money back, and it led to a big fight. They have barely spoken since, and this will probably officially end their relationship as my wife thinks this could be payback for cutting off her friend. I have my first session with a new therapist later this week. We have a session with a marriage counselor next week. I am hopeful that we will come through this ordeal just as strong as we were before. To those who offered me genuine advice, thank you. While I was not necessarily looking for advice when I first posted, there was some sage wisdom in some of your words and it really helped me. Thank you, again.